Shalom and welcome from Eden in the Mountains in Old Fort, North Carolina. It's Kim and David Hostetter, Almond Blossom Wellness. We are out here on our uh, 43 acres, standing on our 43 acres, and uh, we came out Thanksgiving week to kind of check out the property and see it without the leaves. And as you can see in the background, what do you see, Dave? Not very many leaves. A bunch of branches, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so we had an opportunity to do a, a lot of things in this last week and a half we've been here. But, um, you know, the vision is big. It, it is going to require a lot of hands. It's going to require um, a lot of money. <clears throat> and um, we are hoping to build up this wonderful community of uh, like-minded people that want to come out here and be a part of this vision, uh, living off the land and creating um, a wellness facility and uh, an art studio and learning facility with uh, with a lot of creativity going on. And uh, I don't know, Dave, what do, what do you want to see out of this property? Same thing. Same thing. He's always <laughs> like, whatever I want. Uh, I'm here to make dreams come true. Yeah. Help them anyway. Yeah. Well, we've been getting a lot of work done with our two hands, and the weather's been beautiful. I uh, saw a little snow the other day, but that was just a little bit of a, um, a little dusting. Up in the mountains where it gets a little colder, it's, the rain turned into snow. Yeah. Of course, that was just yesterday, and now you can see it's sunny and clear and beautiful again. Now, our plan is in the spring, March or April, to build um, the first facility, which will be our sanctuary. A place for to worship. I promised the Lord that that would be the first building we would build, just like a Solomon built the temple. Um, and of course, anybody who knows or does not know, we're planning on building them an earth ship or earthen type home, a Cobbs type structure. We've got plenty of wood around here. We've got a line on a bunch of free tires, which you'll see on the end of this video. And um, we've got a lot of great mud clay to actually build the home with the materials and the resources right here so uh, it's going to be really cool if anybody wants a learning experience on how to do that we're uh, thinking about bringing somebody over from tennessee or finding a natural build around here to do some workshops and kind of help us get started but uh, anybody has an experience in that area we would love to have you uh, but once again, the first the first building will be you know starting around March or April and get some things cleared off and get our road working and and um, it'll be fun. It'll be a fun project, but it's going to be a lot of work. We are definitely seeking funding for that. Uh, anybody has led in their heart to want to donate to that because this land is for the people. This land is not for us. It's for the people to come and experience and retreat and learn how to be well and be creative and and just share and commune together so um, learn, learn how to get off the grid yeah that's a bit of a part of it as well so anyone that has a heart that wants to donate because we are nonprofit and we're looking for um, also help so if anybody has a, uh, a notion to come out here and pitch a tent or whatever we'll try to find a way to put you up and, and feed you and help us out that would be awesome come on out and give us a call um, and uh, go to our website, almondblossomlive.com, and give us an email or a shout out through the phone, and we'd love to have you. Also, um, at the end of this video, you'll be able to see some of the things we've been doing over the last week and, uh, have, and see some of the fun we had to uh, get some things done. So, see you soon. Okie dokie guys, here we are in Old Fort, North Carolina. We're at, let me see, Big Rig Tire and Brake in Old Fort. And we have got a gem of a situation here. Look at Dave, he's over there hauling up big tractor tires. This is the beginning guys, we're getting free tires. Look at all these tires. We got a whole row of tires. There's like over 300 tires here. This is gonna be the start of our, our earth ship and uh, whatever else we're going to be planning doing with all these tires but there we go we're going to be hauling these things onto the property in a couple of days yay tires he-man dave look at him go lift him up them big tractor trucks how much you think those weigh dave 
probably 100, 100 pounds. Wow, that's almost as much as I do. It's got water in them too. Yeah, big old tires. He's a Michelin man, Michelin man, does everything Michelin can. This is the big rig tire day right here, getting all the tires loaded up. Dave's learning how to stack them right. It's a big truck, got our truck loaded up over there with a big old set of tires. It is November 22nd, Tuesday, November 22nd, 2011, two days before Thanksgiving, and we were at Eden here. You finally see that a lot of the leaves have gone down. See our load of tires, our first load of tires here for the Earth ship, and we were so excited. We actually have a guy here with his little bush hog, and he's gone down here and started taking the, the clearing out the road for us. This is very exciting guys, at least for us. It might not be any big deal to anybody else, but to actually have a road going down into this property is awesome. And uh, we got a good start right here. This is the beginning of a beautiful situation. There goes the tires down the road, heading on down to the property. These tires were stacked by Armstrong. <laughs> the Michelin man. Yeah. Whew, got them all down here. Very good. Slush out of one of the tires every now and then. One of those tires emptied out on me. Soaked from head to toe. Beautiful. There's not a drop of water in one of them in that tire yet. It all <laughs> came out on me. <laughs> but I'm happy. Woohoo. I'm so happy. Manual labor rocks. I got a tractor following me. Coming through with a tractor. Taking him down to check out the road situation. Hoo okay, he's coming in. Getting in the hole. This thing was covered in how many feet of mud, Dave? Huh? Three feet of mud, at least. Well, started out about four feet. Dug down to this, and now we're finding the hole. This is our culvert that's been dug up and stopped up. It's keep causing inch wide culvert. Causing all the ruts in our road to happen. So we're getting it cleaned out. I already got the uh, fire trucker there to hose out the other side which goes all the way along, all the way down to the, down the mountain there, it goes into the water. So we got a lot of it cleared out, but we try to get out here and get in right there and chip it away at it. You guys can see what the heck is going on here. I'm literally in this hole, trying to get this dirt dug out of here. You're going to see daylight real soon. Here we out here. I don't know if you can see this kind of dark in there. Then I'm back in this hole. There's that hole back in there, digging this thing out. We're going to break through to the other side. Break on through to the other side. Break on through to the other side. Believe it or not, we actually made it through. We got a hole at the top here. We still got a ways to go to dig all this rest of this out, but we made it through that little hole right there. See the other side. Getting close.
Okie dokie, you can kind of get an idea here of uh, how he cleared everything off with the bush hog. And this is actually looking back up the road. You can see David up there with the truck. He's unloading some of the tires at the wash area that's got to be refixed. But the road's all nice and clear now. No more weeds. And this little patch here runs right along the creek. A little one of our natural springs, actually. A little natural spring over here. Now it's kind of hard to see maybe in the water, but there is water down there. It's one of a couple that are actually on the property. But we got all this space cleared out now. So we got some you can actually see something. Got some breathing room. And of course the water the river runs right over that side there. And we're making our way down to the what we call the clearing compound area. Got a good eyeball on the river now. Creek, whatever you want to call it. But it, the water is nice and clear. You can see the bottom there. Beautiful. And the weather is absolutely gorgeous. Here it is, like I said, it's November 22nd, Tuesday, two days before Thanksgiving. And I don't know if you can see me, but I don't have a jacket on. It's just beautiful. It's probably, I would say, 60-ish today, something like that. So nice. There's our little blue hut over there. Right in this area here is where we're planning on building the Heart of God Sanctuary with the earth and uh, um, mud. And then next to that, off to the side here, in this nice sunny spot, we're going to build the, uh, the art center. We're going to have an art center here and be able to uh, have studios and classrooms for uh, guest artists to come in and teach and or artists to come retreat and teach art therapy. All kinds of wonderful creative things going to happen in this space here. And then we'll have the worship uh, sanctuary next to it for uh, music and events and that type of thing. So, of course, we've got to put a parking lot in here, unfortunately, somewhere, which I hate to do, but I guess we could just all fly in somehow. <laughs> All right, this is today's project. This is an old chicken coop, and it's got a fence around it and uh, doors, a bunch of weeds. But this is our attempt. We're going to remove this, tear it down today, and hopefully we'll see how far we get in the next couple of days. 